This video will help you to find the magnitude of a vector, the unit vector in the direction of a given vector, and the angle between a vector and one of the axes. You will find the key steps on the screen, and I will demonstrate them live. Vector functionality is only available on the FX991CW. From the home screen, choose the Vector app. First, you need to enter the vector. Press the Tools key and choose Vector A, the first option. Our vector is two dimensions, so you can scroll down and confirm with OK. Enter the vector elements 3, pressing OK or the Execute key and negative 1. Try to use the negation key for negative numbers. When you have finished, press OK or the Execute key to return to the calculation screen. First, we will find the multiple of the vector. Enter the multiple 2 and from the catalog menu choose vector and then vector A. Press the execute key and the calculator displays the result. To find the magnitude of vector A press the catalog key and scroll down to numeric calculation and then choose absolute value. Now enter your vector by pressing the catalog key, choosing vector and vector A. Complete the calculation by closing the bracket and pressing the execute key. The calculator displays the answer in decimal form. Unfortunately, cert form is not available directly. However, if you square the answer, we can see that the magnitude is the square root of 10. You can also find the angle between a vector and an axis. For example, the angle between vector A and the positive x-axis is the angle between vector A and the direction vector 1, 0. Enter the vector 1, 0 using the Tools key as before. I have already entered this in vector B. Now, from the Catalog menu, choose Vector and Vector Calculation. Scroll down and choose Angle. Now you need to enter your two vectors. Do this using the Catalog key. You press the Catalog key, Vector and Vector A. Enter a comma, which is Shift close brackets, and then choose Vector B from the Catalog menu as before. Remember to close the bracket and press the Execute key to complete the calculation. The angle is 18.4 degrees to three significant figures. We will now find a unit vector in the direction of vector A. Start by pressing the Catalog key, choose Vector, Vector Calculation and then Unit Vector. We want the unit vector of vector A, so choose this in a normal way by Pressing the catalog key, choosing vector and vector A. Remember to close the bracket and complete the calculation by pressing the execute key. You can use these calculations with vectors in three dimensions. For example, to find the angle between vector C given on the right and the positive Z axis. Enter your vectors as before. I have already done this for vector C and a direction vector 0, 0, 1 for the positive Z axis as vector D. Choose angle as before from the catalog menu through vector, vector calculation and then angle. Enter your vectors through the catalog menu, vector and this time we want vector C. Remember the comma which is shift close brackets and choose Vector D from Vector. And notice I can use the Page Scroll key to find Vector D a little more quickly. Remember to close the bracket and press the Execute key. The angle is 74.5 degrees to three significant figures. So now you can make calculations with two and three dimension vectors. If you are studying further maths, why not take a look at our video on more advanced vector calculations?